Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to look at replacing the front wheels of a self-propelled lawnmower because the self-propelled feature doesn't work anymore. So this is a Craftsman lawnmower. It's self-propelled. Um, you can see from the front, the front wheel gear, which is, the, which is basically the self-propelled features in the front. Some lawnmowers have them in the rear. I have a lawnmower that does that as well. I actually prefer the rear wheel ones better because they're a little bit easier to control, but this works really well um, as a lawnmower, so we're keeping it around. So, um, I already replaced the wheels, and I'm gonna show you how we did it and why we did it. So basically, the self-propelled feature's got gears in it, and so when the gears, the gears rest in the wheel, and you can see these are all smoothed down. So this was for a, probably just overuse and that sort of thing, or you know, you're, you, held it, you held it still, and pulled the self-propelled thing in it and the gears just stripped. So these, these wheels no longer spin as part of the self-propelled feature and that's the problem. So we're gonna fix that. So the first thing I wanted to check was basically there's a belt under here and there's two things you can do with it. One is, I think the easiest thing is there's one screw here on the top and if you loosen that screw all the way, you're gonna see that there is a belt in here and if that belt's broken, that's the first thing you need to replace. So after you get it pretty loose, you should be able to just lift this whole front plastic piece off. So this is the belt that drives, that connects to the motor, and it drives these front wheels. And so when you see it's loose right now, you see that that's loose, the first thing I thought was, well, that's a problem, right? That's the, that's the issue is this was loose. But if you notice, when you actually engage your self-propelled feature on the bottom, you see it pulls it tight. So now you see that the belt's tight. So the belt's not the issue because the belt actually is functioning. So once we confirmed it wasn't the belt drive that was the problem, we went and started looking at the next piece of it, which you have to take off the front wheels for. Now this seems like it would be, this is a super easy job. Anybody can do it. And it really is a quick, really quick thing to do here. And both wheels are driven. So the both front wheels of this lawnmower are driven. And so if you pull the front wheel off, the first thing you'll notice is it's got gears in it, right? So this is the new one. And you can see that they, as do a quick comparison, you see the gears are still, you still see the gears in this one. You see it does strip pretty quickly because it's only been a few mowings here. But you can see that these are completely smooth, get absolutely no grip from it. And then when the wheel actually goes on here in the sprocket, so when I, this sprocket spins, when the belt's, when it's self-propelled is engaged and these sprockets go inside these wheel, this wheel. So, you just have to replace both wheels, both front wheels. I ordered these off of Amazon. And, real quick thing to do, put the wheel back on. And you just wanna make sure you get it nice and snug in there so it, it gets, the gears connect. But once you do that, you'll notice that now, if I spin the wheels a little bit, you notice that the, the wheels are, you hear them clicking. You hear the, the sprockets clicking on each other. When you actually engage it, then that front, the little steel sprocket spins on the inside and your wheels catch. And your self-propelled feature then works again. So for 25 bucks, if your self-propelled doesn't work for front wheel drive, uh, your front wheel drive mower, you know, first check the belt, make sure the belt's not um, too loose. Make sure that when you engage it, it stays tight and not broken. And then the second thing is look at your front wheels. Make sure your front wheels have sprockets in them. Make sure that the sprockets on the, on the mower itself are spinning as well. So that's really it. That's how you look at fixing um, the self-propelled front wheel drive. And I'll put a link in the description below to the wheels that I got off of Amazon. And so these were 25, 26 bucks. And so, Pretty cheap fix for a lawnmower. Easy do-it-yourself thing. You don't have to have somebody else do this for you. Um, and just make sure that you order the right wheels or the right sprockets so you're not returning stuff and getting new ones. So that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.